Jeremy Ellis here. I'm going to show you how to set things up on H Hirokuyu, um, a online site that allows you to run some node processes so that we can uh, compile PhoneGap so that over online, over a, a website, you can use the PhoneGap developer app to see your, your app while you're developing it. Um, several steps here. I'll show you a few extra steps on how to make changes and let's see if this goes okay. So here's the Heroku um, starting screen. Let's just log in. Now the nice thing about this login screen here is if you had no apps it gives you some of the steps but I'm going to go into a little more depth. I, I did this yesterday. I'm going to grab this uh, GitHub file which is pretty much a PhoneGap build file, but it has two extra things, a package JSON, which tells Herokiro what to do, um, a proc file, which is basically telling it how to run, and in the library, I may change this, I don't like it being an index file. If this is the code that uh, Node is running. So let's see what we can do here. We're logged in. Um, this is Git PowerShell, and these are the steps we're going to do. So, let's slow it down a little bit here. We're going to try to log in. Would be a good idea to do the right password. Okay, sorry about that. So, first step. Oh, okay, we've logged in. So now we need to um, grab that Git off GitHub. If you don't know anything about GitHub, it's very cool. Uh, location that programmers can work on programs together and it allows updating really good because in programming if you screw up with your updating um, you sometimes don't know what the screw up was whereas in github you can go back to how it was before so I'm just going to do a directory here, dir directory command. Uh, it's made a file, a folder, with the same name as the GitHub repository, pgb-jur, phonegap-build-jur. Okay, so I'm going to switch. If you hit the uh, tab key, it, it fills in things for you. So I'm now in that folder. Um, next, next step. I'm going to um, Herokuro create. Now, if I don't give a name here, it will give me one, some kind of random thing. My unique name, I'm going to put a one because I think I already did that. So that should make it. Um, and you've got to be in that folder. So it's making it specific to this folder. So now I'm going to um, Okay, so the main command is git push master. Sorry about that pronunciation. And this is um, now I have already set up my SSH key. A uh, bit of a pain. I think it would be a lot easier if I did git um, PowerShell to start with. I use some kind of node git which worked with Hirokiru but it didn't set up my, my um, SSH very well. So this is doing some pretty cool stuff. It's installing um, whatever I told it to install in that index.js file which I want to change to a Hirokuru.js file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up in a web browser. And all the only reason I do that is just to see exactly what the... Whoa! Oh, okay. Now to open... Just to see what the URL is. So let me move this down a little bit. Where is it? No, I'm going down. If for some reason my page would move down, um, you can see that 
it's doing some weird stuff. That's pretty much what happens when it goes to the app developer. So this is the site. It's going to go through a bunch of my GitHub things, which are basic phone gap kind of things. Okay, so we know that works. I'll flip to a video of, of that working. Um, I just want to show you some extra stuff that we should be aware of. Uh, let's go back. Where is it? I just did my stuff. AGV. Okay, so this is the main area. We've got our package and that. There's my WW file. And here's my index file. If you make any changes there, so let's just say I changed um, well, one little thing. Let's just throw in a space. File save. Then what I need to do is git add. So git add dot. And I'm really new to GitHub. If I make it, uh, if I screw up on anything, let's just, I'm a total beginner. But let's see if this works. Um, my comment is just a comment about it. So see, it sort of worked. And then you get push um, hero view master. And it should, oh. Password and it's going to send up that whole thing. Now on your phone gap, on your app, you don't have to do the Heroku open. You can just refresh your page and it should come up. So looks like it's kind of working. So here I'm in the dashboard. There's my unique name one. By the way, I apologize for this. this seems to be the only way I can do all this stuff. Um if we go back into this, I okay, open. The only reason for doing this is to get the URL, which you could probably figure out after a while. So here we go. There's the URL. Notice it's my unique name dot dot Hirokiyu app dot com. So let's go on to my iPad. So I can't show you on my Android because I'm videoing with it. Um, so it opens up and there, come on phone focus, is my new unique name dot Hiroku. Uh, let's connect to it. And it's just a simple hello world thing um, with a whole bunch of different ones. So this is just uh, how to do links and images. Notice a, a video works on these things. This is on my iOS device. Very impressive to get that from an online. I didn't have to use certificates or anything. Remember, this is for developing.